What's happening, y'all? Well, hello. Oh. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, new nigga alert. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that new nigga? Who's that new nigga? Hey, hey, hey. Who's that new nigga? Who's that new nigga? Y'all That's about me. to find out. Because <laughs> it's your mama's favorite podcast, and we back another week in that head. Ooh, that sounds weird. Yeah. I'm not saying that. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> it's your maternal units. Podcast, Podcast of preference. Easy. Oh, I the like physics that. study group. And I who's like that? that? It's your boy, Icing Black, a.k.a. Black Dynamite, a.k.a. Wade Bixby, a.k.a. Holy Pucker Roaches, a.k.a. Shabby Ranks, a.k.a. Samurai Black. Mm. What the? Hey, okay. a.k.a. Swiss Army Nigga. Uh-huh. Swiss Army Nigga. Uh-huh. Swiss Army Nigga. Hey. Swiss Army Nigga. Hey. Hold the last hey. note. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we got uh, theme songs in this bitch. I see hey, that. Exactly. I got your own personal ones. Well, oh, oh, yeah. No, no. oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is Block of Zulu, aka Sir, Sir Blackstone the Third, aka Pablo Escovich, aka Gary Indiana Jones, aka A. No more aka. Stop the violence. <laughs> no more violence. That is not a gunshot. Oh, exactly. That's bubble rap. Bubble rap. <laughs> and with us. We have the illustrious word, the money un- moves extraordinaire, the unconventional. You know what I'm saying <laughs> unconventional, yet possibly genius. Mm-hmm. <laughs> curb, we just, we just gonna call you Curb. Yeah, I can just call me Curb, okay, man. Okay. Um, if you want, if you got some AKAs, let us I know. got no AKAs for you. <laughs> right, just right. Curb, no, Ball is life. Curb, <laughs> AKA Ball is life. AKA I hoop. AKA I'm better than you. AKA hey. Mr. Pips. Hey. Oh. <laughs> yeah. They call you on the court. Hey, don't let my roommate hear you say it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm with it, man. Anytime. Oh, yeah. I'm time. I'm, I'm ready for the court. Okay. Oh. Ball in the hoop outside. Shoes in the car. What? You know what oh, let know. It is what it is. Ready today. They give you the shoes. Ahora mismo. <laughs> <laughs> Word. Oh, and you got the trading apps on deck. Word. We're going to get to that in a little bit. Word. Yeah, man. I got some things for y'all. Word. You've exactly. never heard of Forex. Word. You see, if you couldn't tell... By the you know do rags of knowledge that we've <laughs> that we've adorned ourselves with Absolutely. for this episode, we are gonna get into some some money shit. Definitely, Absolutely. yeah, definitely. That's what we're here for. And we're exactly. gonna talk about black money shit. Black money <laughs> shit. I've been on some music. Like, yeah, well, I say, I, I'm I'm say y'all on y'all theme vibe thing tonight, boy. I like it. I like it. But that should be like more of a quick hit, like black money shit, like some <laughs> shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> you press that button. <laughs> black money <laughs> shit. Yeah, there I like that. I like that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we already got a TPSG wild ass tangent. Yeah, right, I feel like so. we're on one of them old radio shows. <laughs> <laughs> I, bro, I swear, God, I was just thinking that in my <laughs> head, bro. Right now? I was just thinking about that. Word. I feel like I'm listening to one on one point five. Word. Yeah, we not gonna do that. Right. I'm like burps on cue, like weird <laughs> shit. <Word. laughs> All right. But if you guys didn't realize the the theme or the vein that we're going to, or the idea that we're going to go down today is finance mm-hmm. and finance within the black community. And we're going to go get a little more specific, I guess, on that matter. Definitely. What, what would you say? Um, well, we're going to be diving in on different avenues to take as far as money concerned that probably the black community or people just don't know in general um, that they have access to. A lot of people mm-hmm. think that oh, I need to have this amount of money or I need to save up this, this, or that. I mean, honestly, you can start today. People mm-hmm. just don't know that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. here to shed some light into some of the avenues y'all could take, right. things that I'm doing myself, right, right. Um, you know, go from there. Word. Show and prove. So stay- no, no. We are mm-hmm. talking before the podcast, I'm like, um, one of the big things I will, I was saying, I like to quote myself, apparently, <laughs> um, <laughs> Was um Virgos. I feel right because we know everything already, <laughs> so we, we might as well just quote. We already know it's Leo, <laughs> and it's still Leo season because it's still is that, August. I don't is that what, what that y'all. means? <laughs> I don't know about the sign. So if you're a Virgo, you know. I per- yeah, apparently I just <laughs> yeah I just Virgos I just, just play know. I just play hundred percent into it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. I got a kick out of it. But, okay, but um, <laughs> explain to the 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 quote of the day thing you do exactly. Like, make sure exactly makes sense. why people just let me guide your life. <laughs> it's all piecing you know together. I'm saying you live. Everything's coming you together. Know, exactly. A full and happy quality of life. Exactly. So Bullshit. we're saying um, that, <laughs> that a big discrepancy between um, our people and those who genuinely have wealth is information. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? I.e. the game. Yeah. You know? Mm. So 
Um, what are some things, just some basic things you feel like um, um, we generally don't know about or we're just um, misguided against? Misguided against? I mean, yeah. I think the biggest thing that um, people in our community, especially young blacks, is uh, a lot to do with like money management, how mm-hmm. to spend their money, how to go about um, being able to balance their income versus their debt or their their assets and liabilities, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Going from grade school, we're not taught how to manage money. We're not taught right. what to do with our money when we do have it. Right, right. That's why a lot of times when you see, you know, um, middle class or, just in or underclass, you know what I'm saying, they're course to, to spend, spend, spend. Mm-hmm. A lot of times too, a lot of the lotto winners, when they mm-hmm. get all this big money or just people when they get a lot of money generally, mm-hmm. they blow it, yeah. you know what I'm saying, because they don't know exactly what to do with it, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying, but... They don't realize that there's a lot of avenues that you can take to mm-hmm. put your money in as long as you do the research. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, I was told a long time ago that the biggest asset that you have isn't like a house or like a car or something like that. It's time because mm-hmm. time is yeah. so finite. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And depending on how you use that time is going to be your 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 progress in life. You know Absolutely. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, there's like, they, you just think of it like just, just numbers wise. There's 24 hours in a day. Mm. If you do have a job, it's eight hours you're working, probably mm. six to eight hours of sleeping. Mm. Then you have another eight hours of where you're doing whatever. Mm, right. If you go to the gym, maybe that's an hour, two hours that's in the gym. You mm. got seven hours left. Mm. Uh, well, you might want to eat or like hang out with friends. Let's take out two more hours. Mm. So now you have about four or five hours left. Right. Mm-hmm. What are you doing within those four or five hours? Right. A lot of times watching TV, yeah. bullshit, mm. talking wasting to your time. friend, wasting time. You know what I'm saying? There's things you can do. That only take like about an hour, hour and a half, even 30 minutes at times day. every day mm-hmm. that accumulates. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Um, mm-hmm. And I think that's what kind of puts us back because we don't know how to utilize our time wisely. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like one of those things that um, are good habits that we could just start doing is just reading. Absolutely. Because we're talking, you said that um, one of the things that um, changed your perspective was a book. Right. right. So um, talk, speak on that. That book was Rich Dad, Poor Dad mm-hmm. by Robert. Mm-hmm. Kiyosaki. I hope right. I said his last name right. right. Amazing so. book. Uh, it literally changed my my life, mm-hmm. changed my mentality. Mm-hmm. Um, got me to really self reflect because he <laughs> talks about the way that the rich, his rich dad, um, uh, was going about money and going about life in itself versus what his poor dad was doing. And a lot of the stuff that he was saying about his poor father really was speaking to me because all the stuff that he was thinking and doing in life was what I've been taught and what I've been doing myself. Mm-hmm. It wasn't until I realized and looked in my mirror like, damn, man, I'm, I'm, I am guess I'm poor. Like, I am i don't feel poor. I don't think I'm poor. I know I'm broke. Mm-hmm. But, that, but mentality that mentality is poor, is poor because mm-hmm. poor is a mentality. Right. You can be broke but not be poor. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Poor is all about what you think about yourself or how you think about society, how, how you're going about society in itself. Mm-hmm. But if you change that mindset over right. time... Mm. And start applying the stuff that you do learn, you know, using their time wisely, it starts to it, it starts to make sense. Right. right. You right. start to see a change. I was definitely Correct. gonna touch on that. That's um that's a, a big thing for me and one thing I've learned as well. Like our as black people, as a minority, if you will, we it's the it's our relationship with money Absolutely. and how we feel about it. It is a poor mentality because to us money is this finite thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whereas so it's like we just gotta, you know, use what we can and hold on to it. Mm-hmm. And we didn't, you know, in school they don't teach they us don't. they mm-hmm. don't teach us the systems because it's not the system's not meant for us. So right. they don't right. teach us how to actually make money the they smarter don't. way. They don't. Either. And they set traps. Mm-hmm. And like it's, on the eighteenth birthday, we keep first saying thing they get is, is a credit card. <laughs> that's very true. And that's another thing too about here's, here's a couple hundred dollars. Yeah, free a credit money. card. Like credit is a very big right. thing mm-hmm. in our community too. Like mm-hmm. your credit really, really matters. Mm-hmm. And the thing about it too is like a lot of the times, like we're scared of credit. We're scared right. of like loans. We're scared of stuff like that. However, right. It's how you use that loan. Right, it's right. how you use your credit because mm-hmm, they're actually absolutely. good things to help you build yourself up. Because right. if you have good credit, you can get anything you want in this country. You absolutely. get a house, you get a car, mm-hmm. you get another business loan. You can do and whatever you, you want with good perks. credit. <laughs> you get a lot of perks too mm-hmm. doing so. Mm-hmm. However, a lot of the times um, uh, um, that the, our community, what we do is that we just spend, 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 spend without realizing like, oh mm-hmm. shit, we got to pay this shit back. Right, you know what I'm saying, right, right. Um, think about with interest. right with interest. Think mm-hmm. about taking loans out from the bank, whether it's a personal loan, business loan, school loan. Mm-hmm. Is that instead of using that money to reinvest or using that money to uh, uh, progress yourself or like manage your own your own income, we spend on dumb shit. 
Mm -hmm. And as we're spending on dumb shit, we're not realizing, like, oh, once again, we have to pay this back. And now Mm -hmm. we're in debt playing catch up, Mm -hmm. living paycheck to paycheck, doing the same spiel. You know what I'm saying? Word, word. Man, even even going into um, generational wealth. Oh, yes. You know, and, and just going back into the history of this country and, like, how, you know what I'm saying, it's like the... It's like the the head start has been it's it's, it's crazy, right? You know what I mean? Right. We have a lot of catching up to do. Exactly. Oh, we yes. have a lot of catching up to do, exactly. but it's possible because mm-hmm. I'm gonna break. I'm gonna tell you a little secret. Okay, there's like three ways, mm-hmm. three real ways to become wealthy, not rich, because mm-hmm. it's easy to get rich. People get rich every day, right? But not a lot of people stay wealthy. Okay? Right. right. I'm there's, glad you brought up that yeah. distinction. There's yeah. very there's a very big distinction between the rich and the wealthy. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now the wealthy they have. Probably, if not all three of these things, at least one. Mm. It is your own business, mm-hmm. right? LLC, mm-hmm. corporation, mm-hmm. whatever have you, incorporation, whatever have you. you know what I'm saying it's starting your own business. Mm-hmm. It's real estate, right? Mm-hmm. So buying land. Not, I'm not just saying like buying houses, flipping or apartments, but it's the like land as well, land. owning mm-hmm. land, right? Mm-hmm. So real estate. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm also including the mm-hmm. the, the houses and the apartments, but right, the right. main main thing to mm-hmm. really have that wealth is exactly. the land. Right, okay. for sure. Second, oh, well, I'm sorry, the third thing and last um, is investing. Mm-hmm. So whether it's the stock market, mm-hmm. cryptocurrency, foreign exchange, mm-hmm. investing money into businesses, investing your money, trading, you know what I'm saying? That all falls in, into that umbrella. Right. Those are the three things. Mm-hmm. Trump, uh, mm-hmm. Warren Buffett, Bill Gates, mm-hmm. uh, Joe, um, uh, Jeff Bezos, all these mm-hmm. rich individuals, mm-hmm. I guarantee you mm-hmm. have, if not all three, one of them. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Definitely, and it makes sense. definitely all you know? three. <laughs> definitely Word. all three. Word. A lot of the times, too, a lot of them trade, man. A lot mm. of them have people who trade for them because mm. they understand that trading is a guaranteed way with a little bit of capital to mm. keep on making money. Absolutely. And I'll okay. touch on more about trading later, like, like later on. But like that's really the avenue mm. these rich people use mm. to maintain their wealth. Word, word. You know? That money, money just keeps moving. It just keeps Absolutely. on flowing. You know what I'm saying? Keeps yeah. on flowing. Shoot, we, we, could, we could get into it. We could just get, get into it get now. Yeah, let's do it. It's I mean, flowing. Word, word. <laughs> let's do it. Word. We're trying to put up, put, you know, as people as a, up on as much game as possible. Yeah, 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 possible. man. You um, know what I mean? And the biggest game right now, is, I'm actually kind of happy to say it because I've seen a lot of posts and a lot of different things on social media um, pertaining to foreign exchange and mm. pertaining to investing and trading, mm. right? It's kind of like the new wave. A lot of the young cats are getting into it because I know a lot of 22-year-olds, 21-year-olds that are making mm. thousands, Trade if not millions, on foreign, on foreign exchange, mm-hmm. right? Um, people that I've met personally as well. And it's crazy how that people will not necessarily believe into foreign exchange specifically because everybody knows about stocks. Mm-hmm. You could ask a random person in the street about, oh, about the stock market, and they could tell you something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You ask someone about a foreign exchange, Forex, mm-hmm. they might have heard the word, they might have like listened to it, but they don't really know mm-hmm. what it's all about. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And it's really the same premise, but instead of like trading like uh, companies, you're really trading the, 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 the country itself. You're trading the currency of that country. Mm-hmm. So when I'm saying I'm, I'm, I'm trading Euro USD, I'm trading the Euro currency versus mm. the USD, so right. the, our American money. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. So it's that relationship. Mm. That's the difference. Right. Now, the, the the greatest thing about foreign exchange is the leverage that you're able to use mm. versus um, uh, uh, the stock market. Okay. Right? Now, before I get any deeper into it, I mm. wanted to let y'all know that this is very risky, right? Trading right. is risky. You probably hear that a lot. Like, oh, I don't want to do for it. It's so risky and da da But... Think about this. Mm. Anything you do with those three things that I mentioned about wealth mm. is risks. Right, right. Owning a business, starting your own business, or mm. investing in a business is a risk. You don't know if that business is going to thrive. Right, you don't know if that right. business is going to go under. Right. Real estate, um, it's also a risk. The the the, the, the market crash of two thousand eight. Mm-hmm. You might your property might be five hundred thousand one month and then twenty thousand the next month. Who yeah. knows? Uh, same thing with trading, man. But the thing about these three avenues. Um, is the risk management. Mm-hmm. And that's what people do not understand or get. Like, they, they, they can't wrap their mind about it around, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Because if you can manage your risk, right. who cares? Right. Because you're managing it. Mm-hmm. Risk management. Right? Exactly. Risk management. Yeah. You, know? you need it. Word. Key words, y'all. Risk management. management. Word. That's how you get longevity in this game, is mm-hmm. risk management. Mm-hmm. Okay? Understanding how to... Just to have a, have a quick example. If you have a $1,000 account... Um, you don't want to risk 
half of it, right. mm. you're going to risk 2%, 5%. Because 2 to 5% of a $1,000 account is only $20, $50. Mm. Are you really going to be upset if you lost $20 or $50 if you have 1000 mm. Realistically, no. Mm-hmm. You're like, oh man, I lost money, but would you right. rather lose twenty to fifty or right. two hundred to five hundred? Right, right, right. You charge that to the game and move right. on. Right, yeah. it's a big, it's a yeah. big difference. Because if mm-hmm. I was in a trade mm-hmm. and I lost, let's say, two or three trades, so I lost twenty, forty, sixty dollars mm-hmm. in three trades. But my one trade that I did win, mm-hmm. I gained a hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. I just wiped out my risk. Right, right. right. I still came mm-hmm. up net positive. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's what you have to think. It's longevity. Mm-hmm. So. If the the more I lose, as long as I manage my risk, my mm. wins will wipe those out. Right. I have nothing to worry right. about. Right. But that's because you have that risk management. That's right. That's right. Yeah, you can always plan for you know exactly. You, you can always plan for it. You right. Can, you know, you know what you can take, and that's when suitability comes into play. You know, like are you a young person who can you manage know, that risk, risk more? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then that's probably op- would you would you say that just opens up your opportunity? It does absolutely. Right. Because if you are you able to have a good grasp on managing your risk, any kind of avenue, anything you do, whether it's involving risk, you have to not necessarily worry about anymore. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Because you're in your mentality and your in your mind, you you're, could uh, you're, you're, you're prepared, you're prepared, about, right? And prepared for it. Like if I get hit, I'm not. Uh, it's, it's gonna. It doesn't hurt as hard. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because I understand that. You know what? Even if I do get hit, it's really only a fraction right. of mm-hmm. what I'm investing. It's only a fraction of what I'm putting in. Yeah. Right? We have this saying in in foreign exchange. Uh, it's like you. Plan the trade, mm-hmm. and then you trade the plan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Key word is there is the plan. You must exactly. plan it. Mm-hmm. Exactly. A lot of the times, people ninety percent. It's a very big percentage. Ninety percent of the people who trade for an exchange fail or quit. Mm-hmm. What I mean it's by fail, number. yeah. When I <laughs> mean fail, I mean like they lose money and mm-hmm. they get discouraged and they and they, they leave. quit. They mm-hmm. leave. Ninety percent. Mm. That's a huge number. That's, wow. yeah. That's a huge number. It's a it's a mental game. It's right? a very mental game. Definitely. But the difference between the ten percent and the ninety percent is that ten percent knows risk management. Mm-hmm. That ten percent is not greedy. That ten percent is not mm-hmm. um, it's not thinking get rich quick. Mm-hmm. It's not thinking none of those things because you can. I always tell I always tell the people some of my students is that you can get rich mm-hmm. quick using using trading. Mm-hmm. However, it's not a get rich quick scheme. It's right, a right. marathon, not a race. Right, right. right okay. Right. If you're thinking race or get rich quick, you will lose. Right, right. absolutely. You will lose. That's when you over leverage, you meaning you risk more mm-hmm. than what you can handle. That's when you get greedy throwing big positions in. Right, right, mm-hmm. right. You know what I'm saying? And that's when you lose. I, I I'm not gonna sit here and think I'm a saint. This happened to me when right. I first started. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying I lost money my damn self being greedy, being right. not, not understanding risk tolerance. Mm-hmm. But you learn from it, you grow from it, and then you end up becoming successful. Right, right, you know what I'm right. Saying? So what if if someone was to um, say, all right, I want to get into foreign exchanging today, mm-hmm. at least, you know, test the waters. Um, what's the first step? First step is um, definitely research, right? You don't ever want to go into something and just blindly hop into it because there's a lot of people there on YouTube or on Google, wherever you search, will try to like scam you mm-hmm. because you got to think we're in the, the internet age where there's a whole bunch of scammers out there. You know what I'm saying? So... Uh, there's gonna be a lot of people selling that. Oh yeah, man, I, I throw out signals. Or yeah, right. man, join my course or blah blah. But they might not be teaching you the best mm-hmm. things. They might right. not be teaching you now. So that just goes back to your research. You have to really, really, really take your time. Right. Time. Right. Take your time to really research certain um uh, videos, research certain documentations. You know what I'm saying? Ask somebody that you do know who's involved, mm-hmm. like me. Ask someone who's involved with um uh, foreign exchange and like you know. How they go about doing it. A lot of the times people are <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was corny and shit. <laughs> this guy, yeah. Time. Uh, you know uh, risk me? management. <laughs> risk management. <laughs> but a lot of the times people um <laughs> uh, are in these groups, right? Like even now, I'm also in the, a, a trading group. I mean, shout out my group, the Good Life Tribe, um, where we are literally just students helping mm-hmm. other students learn the game of forex mm, right, right. it's a skill that we're learning right just like well, i'm uh playing ball you know what i'm saying kobe and jordan they just walk into a court and was just raw mm-hmm. they practice every single day to mm. do their skill and their they craft were they were, and you're like right they were relentless <laughs> yeah, same thing right. with foreign exchange it's a skill to mm. trade right so if you do it every day if you practice every day and not necessarily give up on the down days come through because mm-hmm. there will be down days right you become successful I'm saying my mentor, um, uh, John Spencer, he always says, uh, at one point, you know, the losing stops mm-hmm. because you learn from those mistakes as long as you become, you know, humble about it. You know what I'm right. saying? You learn from all these 
uh, 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 all the ups and downs, whether you win or lose a trade, mm-hmm. because you're they're studying it, mm-hmm. applying right. and practicing your, your craft. Right. You know? Um, how? Message. Word. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You could, you could apply that to anything, really. Anything. Absolutely. That's, anything. that's a life lesson anything. in general. Word. Um, but to actually answer your question, I don't think I ever even answered. I kind of just started rambling. Yeah, but to answer your question about like how to start, um, <laughs> I mean, is? I first started on YouTube. Like, what is forex on YouTube? Mm-hmm. Um, try to get a little brief discussion about it. Um, I ended up uh, learning it from my barber. Mm. Well, actually, more accurate, my cousin was getting a haircut. <laughs> the, mm. My barber saw that he was trading. We're trading options at that time, which is stocks. Mm. We're trading options at that time. He's like, "Oh, yo, what are you trading?" I was like, well, "We're doing options." Like, oh, I trade too. And my cousin was like, oh, what do you trade? Mm. And um, he's like, well, I do foreign, foreign exchange. He's like, huh? Mm-hmm. And my cousin, me and my cousin were killing in an option. That my cousin was like, oh, yeah, man, we made like, I think like $1,000 that day or something like that. And then he's like, oh, that's cool. And then he showed. <laughs> <laughs> he like, like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> and then he showed my cousin. He had made like 10 bands in like 15 minutes. And my cousin was like, what the fuck? Word. Now, mind you, me and my cousin, me and my cousin worked together. So when he came back to work after getting his haircut, he was like, yo, Curve, um, uh, the dude's name's Black. He was like, yo, <laughs> Black just told me about, like, he's training. He just made, like, 10K. Mm. But, like, doing what? And he's like, training <laughs> foreign exchange. Like, you heard of it? I was like, bro, I've heard about Forex before, man. I thought, like, you know, some bullshit. I never really got into it. Right. But I was interested before. I just never, you know, dabbled into yeah, it. Right. He's like, man, he's trying to meet up tonight with, like, this dude, John, my mentor I was telling you about. Mm. He's like, I'm trying to meet up tonight to talk about it and whatnot. And I was like, bro, we need to go there. Mm. So we went there, and mind you, I, I hoop with this dude every Sunday. I was like, I kind of got mad at him, like, bro, you've been training all this. Like, <laughs> you, you, know, you, know, you never told me, bro. You, word, me, word. you see me you training me? these options on <laughs> my phone, and you just there like, you huh. all right, dude, you train ready to hoop? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, he ain't ready for the big time. <laughs> he's not ready for the big time. He was watching you like a grandmaster. Mm. Right? He's like, no, <laughs> he's like, grasshopper's not ready. Word, word. His patience is almost <laughs> ready. I'm going to make him think he's making a little money. And then... um. Uh, right. So what that you night, know is he set up that whole barbershop situation. <laughs> Probably, who knows, man? But we ended up meeting with him and uh, John Spencer, my mentor, and he also told us about this. And uh, he also told us some crazy numbers that he made in like an hour. I'm not even gonna dwell in it. Just know <laughs> mm. five figures and plus. If you know I hear saying? ten bands in fifteen minutes, I don't need to hear anything. It, exactly, you know, you know what I'm saying. saying? Um, <laughs> now. Now, when he had told us this and like gave us all the information, I told my cousin, I was like, bruh, um, we need to get on this thing ASAP. Mm. Now, mind you, like I said <clears throat> before, this thing is really like a group thing. Like you have to have a group to trade. If you're mm. trading by yourself, nine times out of 10, you will lose. Mm. You need like a second pair of eyes, whether it's your cousin, sometimes kids too. I mean, I know people who use their kids to like, oh, yo, son, look at this chart. What do you think is going up or down? And they're like, oh, yeah, daddy, I think it's going up. Mm. That might be one of your, yes. your, your singles because kids can see patterns, you know right. what I'm saying? Mm. So mm. that's like stuff like that <laughs> works. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So well, it's real. <laughs> having people, having a group of people or a community to kind of help you trade is definitely a plus. So I was literally introduced to this uh, company called IML. And I'm not going to lie to you, I, I thought it was BS. Yeah, IML is like iMarkets Live. Okay. And I'm sure a lot of people who watch this pro- on my podcast might have heard of him, something mm. like that. And I thought it was a scam. Mm-hmm. Pyramid scheme. Like, bro, you just trying to recruit me, bro. It's some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I was kind of reluctant at first, you know. Um, but I trust the dude. You know what I'm saying? Because I hoop with him all the time. Um, he's also my barber. So I really trust him because he does my hair. <laughs> and you really trust him. <laughs> yeah, that's a special hair, relationship. You know it's like that, kind of a... That barber you know, relationship. Exactly. You, know you need it. It's sacred. Exactly. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I kind of like, like, you know what? Let me just research some more. I researched it myself. You, also have to, you can't just take somebody's word for it, right? right. Research it yourself to see what's up. Absolutely. So I researched it, and what I really was looking at, too, is like, what's the difference between this education platform versus like someone else on YouTube offering services or someone on like mm-hmm. another company mm-hmm. educating? You know what I'm saying? So I was like, well, if that's the case, let me see like the, 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 the payment amount. Well, these person, this person right here is offering signals and a course for like 6 k mm-hmm. I, I saw a lady, I, I met some lady, um, she was like, oh yeah, this institution was trying to charge me 25K. I was like, 25K just to learn? <laughs> but my mentor was like, but you got to think about it, man. This is a game where if you get it, you can make millions. So mm. why not? It's a lot of value in this. Mm. So why not charge? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I was like, I was thinking to myself, like, well, you know, it kind of makes a lot of sense. Mm. Now, she, 
even I would at some point when I got to a certain status or a certain point, like, well, if I don't need iMarkets Live, I could just start my own shit and then right. just be straight. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, I'm more of a loyal dude. I want to at least stick with the people who got me on. You right. Know what I'm saying? Right. So, I mean, I learned from there. So I ended up like signing up, um, ended up learning for, for like learn all the basics and mm-hmm. whatnot, kind of went through there. Um, the group that I'm in, because once you join the company, you're put into like a, a group from whoever recruited you. And that's the Good Life Tribe I was saying oh, earlier. Okay. Mm-hmm. So that Good Life Tribe is that trading group that I'm in. And mm-hmm. bro, ever since I got put in that group, my shit went from left what left mm-hmm. to right. Like mm-hmm. complete 180. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So y'all be in the group chat like, hey, you see you. Yeah, yes. <laughs> yes. G shit. Like we're literally in the chat like, yo, this is my markup for gold. Mm-hmm. Uh, what, what y'all think about it? Oh, this is my markup for USD Canadian dollar. Mm-hmm. And it's just, it's just currency. Currency. Okay. We also do indices though, which is like the Dow Jones, um, mm-hmm. SPX 500. Mm-hmm. We do commodities like gold, the metals, silver, mm-hmm. oil, natural gas. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying a lot of these things are big hitters, gradually, mm-hmm. so I wouldn't necessarily just trade them off the bat. Mm-hmm. But we do trade those too. You can trade whatever you want. You can even trade stocks mm-hmm. on foreign exchange, cryptocurrency on some brokers. Mm-hmm. So it's a very it's a very diverse market. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You can trade a lot of different things in foreign exchange. Can't do that in the stocks though. Right. You no. Know? So that's kind of how like I got started. If you if anybody wanted to um to learn about it, I say quick YouTube search. Mm-hmm. Um quick um Research using your time to kind of learn some of the basics. Right. Then, if anything, hit somebody you do know. Know what? What's what's some like me? What, <laughs> what's some what's some mistakes? Um, you would you would you um, warn people about that you that you've made? Or would you say that Besides you have me. to make those mistakes to kind of learn? One thing I want to say you have to make no mistakes because I. I tell people all the time, don't do what I did. You need to practice. Yeah, greedy. Okay, yeah. You need to practice, bro. You need to have a demo account because you could have a demo account for free. Mm-hmm. I can set up all everyone in this room's demo account, no problem, and you mm-hmm. can start trading. And a demo today. account is just Fake a money. practice account. Practice that money, you paper use, money, like a simulation. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Right. But That's you dope. need, you need, you need. Word. Okay, you need to demo. Emphasis. Word. You need to. So, okay? like, I feel like. People do it like do it for a couple of days and drunk dive yes. in. Yes, yeah. and when I say you need a demo, I'm talking about if you open up. I think the lowest you could go on a demo account is three thousand mm-hmm. dollars. You need to be able to flip that three k into like fifty k mm-hmm. consistently, mm-hmm. not just one time off of like a whim. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about you need to consistently like be able to flip it. Several times a day, or right. like, like or just throughout right. your, your your trading, like oh, okay. whether it's a, a month, two months, three okay. months, mm-hmm. two weeks, depending on mm-hmm. how long it takes you. But you need mm-hmm. to be able to consistently Reflect trade consistently. You... Yes, because you're gonna have a lot of losses. Mm-hmm. You're gonna have a lot of wins and. What people don't understand is very psychological, man. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. when you go on your real account, you gotta think this is your actual money. Mm-hmm. So just it, you're just just stick in your head like you're looking at your account. And you're down a hundred dollars. You're like, oh, oh my god! Right. Like let me mm-hmm. close this real quick. Mm-hmm. But then you close it, and then the market's <laughs> laughing at you because right. now well, yeah, I was actually you were actually right. Mm-hmm. right. Happened to me a lot in the beginning. Like mm-hmm. I was in trades, uh, then it went against me for a little bit. I got scared, pulled out. Next thing I know, an hour later, it shot up exactly where I thought it was going to be. Mm-hmm. And I'm kicking myself in hindsight, like, damn it, curve. Like, why don't you just right. hold on to yeah, it? Like, why don't you right. just trust your, your your gut? Like, why don't you just trust your setup? Mm-hmm. But once again, that's rookie mistakes. It's mm-hmm. A little bit of patience. A little, little bit of patience? <laughs> it's a lot of patience. Because right. you have to wait I for your setup. Nice. You said it. No, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm being real, yeah. okay? It's, it's a yeah. lot of patience. Yeah. And it teaches you that. Because if you don't wait for that setup, if you don't wait for... Um, the right time to get in. If you rush things, bro, you are going to lose. Mm-hmm. I promise you. It's not. I'm, I'm not even. This is a guarantee type stuff. Like you will lose. Right. right. If you don't do this, if you don't respect the game, if you don't come in here with the right mindset and take the right approach to it by mm-hmm. using the demo. Mm-hmm. You know. Or I don't know if you want to get into it, but what what would be like your greatest L? What would be, what would be your greatest W? <sighs> I lost five k. Within, I don't even think a month, maybe two months. Mm. I started in October 2018, so maybe three months. Mm. 3K the first month, definitely. Ouch. Mm. 3K easy, like that first month, maybe that first two weeks, honestly. I honestly don't remember how fast. It was very quick. Mm. And it was to the point mm. where I lost the money and then I stopped trading because, once again, it's mental. Yeah. I stopped trading and was yeah. like discouraged, was like, damn, that's curve. a big L. Yeah. We just talk about, especially in the beginning. Right, especially you know, in the yeah. beginning. I'm like, oh, hype. I just made all this money from stocks. I'm using, like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm hype about this. And then I right. lose all that real quick. Mm. So then I'm like, I'm humbled at that point. I'm like, damn. Right. Mm. But, I'm still a rookie, so my mentality wasn't there. My psychological 
viewpoints, my psychological mind wasn't there yet mm. to not get discouraged off that big L. Mm. So I took a hiatus, like trying to like think about, oh, damn, what did I do? Mm. And then I went on demo, I like making money on demo. And this is where the game switches on you because you will win like crazy on demo. Mm. Then go on real and those emotions come back, those mm. psychological, and you don't trade it the same and then now you're stuck. Mm. Right. You're like, oh, damn. Doing the same mistakes you did. Mm. That's how I lost the other 2K. Mm, so damn. around December, I lost uh, 2K. I was like, you know what? I'm back on it. I made money on my demo account. Mm. I I studied, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Um, thought I was doing things the right way. Mm. Making the same bullshit mistakes. Mm. Ended up losing the other 2K. Mm. It oh. wasn't it wasn't until then we're like, you know what, bro, I have to take a step back, talk to some of the people in my group. Mm. Um, you know, I got some good advice from them, um, good mm. advice from my mentor as well. My cousin was doing the same thing. Mm. So we both were bouncing off each other because we both if I win, he wins. If he loses, I lose. You know what right. I'm saying? We're, mm. we're together in this. Mm. And um doing that, uh, <laughs> we kind of waited <laughs> we kind of waited till like uh like around January, February, took it hard about like studying. Yeah. Took it hard about like practicing on demo, right? You know what I'm saying? I took it very, very seriously, and we were very. I think we took like a whole month or two months of actual back testing, which is pretty much practicing. And mm -hmm. this was after you went. Back. This is after I lost, mm -hmm. right? So when I went back in with my money again, I was like, bro, I cannot lose this shit again, bro. I, mm -hmm. I can't afford it, right? Because mm -hmm. now I'm not dipping in. I'm not playing with playing money. This is my actual money at this point. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I can't just be trying to be one of these traders just putting in money, money, money just to lose it. Mm -hmm. No, and that's you know? a, I, but that's a smart way to go about it. I mean, Got you to. went and did the preparation. You went back. You took yourself back to school, so to say, mm -hmm. and in order to try again. Got to. So what happened when you got back? Became profitable. Cool. Once I was able to, um, I think it was on my demo account. I like, I think I started like a 50k or 100k account on demo, and I flipped it to like 500. K or 600K, something like that. Mm. And that was within the month of February. And this is all of me um, uh, going back to what people were saying, what I was mm. listening to about mm. like some people saying in my group about how mm. you can't be just trading all these different pairs. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Pick one or two, mm. learn it, trade it as much as you can. And then as you get to a relationship with it, understand this behavior. You said pairs? Pairs. So What's... I'm not saying like it's always like the euros dollar mm. versus the okay, gotcha. you know what I'm saying? euro versus USD, right. JPY versus whatever. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. So that's mm. pairs. I can't be having multiple pairs trading. Pick mm -hmm. one, mm -hmm. right? My one was the Great British Pound and Australian Dollar. So I chose that pair and I just studied it. I just practiced, 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 practiced with that pair only. Mm -hmm. Got consistent with my profits, with, with my trading pair. plan. I planned mm -hmm. the trade and trade the plan. Mm -hmm. Got consistent with that plan. Got consistent with this trading. Mm -hmm. Became profitable. And I was like, you know what? I'm ready. Came March, put my real money in and then started Growing, growing mm -hmm. in slowly but surely. Like you know what I'm saying, this is the marathon, not a race. Mm -hmm. So I was able to turn like like a K into five K. I'm not, I'm sorry, one K to five figures mm -hmm. within a few months. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, thank God. So right. now, even if I did lose, mm -hmm. right, because I understood risk management, mm -hmm. and because I understood, um, like my psychological, my psyche mm -hmm. was what was better. You know, my mindset was better. Mm -hmm. Even if I lost, mm -hmm. I was cool about it. You know what I'm saying? Right. I knew I wasn't risking that much. Right. I knew that even though if I had these strings of losses, mm -hmm. I know that one or two wins is going to get me back over that hump and I'll be right. profitable again. Right, right. So ever since then, I've been working that. And I ended up getting to the point where my account size grew and I was able to like save also my actual money to the point where I, I won't say quit my job. I was a contractor. They tried to renew me. I said no. So I guess I quit my job. I left my job, if you will. Right, so right. now, no since then, I've been- five, baby. No more nine to five. Now I'm a full-time <laughs> trader, able to have my own um, my own schedule, you know what I'm saying? Able to trade whenever I need to, mm -hmm. and able to have the, the money necessary if I needed to pull out and also grow it as well. Right. So um, so now that you uh -huh. say that, right, mm -hmm. like having that time, because that's, congratulations to that, by Thanks, the way, because that's it. like, right. I think that's something that every millennial- and outside of that generation too is mm -hmm. seeking nowadays too because mm -hmm. now so many people see that there is a possibility to make money and live a quality a good quality of life as well absolutely and i think that does give you that financial freedom gives you uh emotional and a mental freedom too absolutely and um and gives you space to invest in your own interests in yourself but i like that um, you definitely have to invest in yourself yeah yeah absolutely have to. that's kind of what i what i did when i joined the company is like I could spend two hundred dollars on some Jordans, right, or two hundred dollars a month on, let's say, 
going out to eat or, you know, some some frivolous things, some mm. materialistic things, mm. or I can invest in myself mm. and learn this craft. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Learn this skill. If not, I'm wasting my money at that time. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pay a subscription or something to learn about foreign exchange and not utilize mm-hmm. what I'm paying for. Right. If I do, I'm literally wasting money. Right. Now, okay. so <clears throat> I guess if you can give any of this information, like in terms of foreign exchange, what affects the markets is obviously like the government and economy and things like that within a each lot of, country, right? A lot of things, yeah. So you'd have to be paying. So if you, for example, like Great Britain versus Australia, if you're mm-hmm. watching. You have to find out what's going on with Australia's politics and their government or their economy versus, and then what's happening in Britain, and then understanding the relationship between that because they so they trade like I, I guess no 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 well, you, you, like you're in the right idea. direction because um, mm-hmm. the foreign exchange market is right it is economical it is political right mm-hmm. a lot of these news events that happen do affect the markets right mm-hmm. however. This space is highly manipulative, right? right? So news is really BS. Right. There's a what, lot of what matters. What really truly matters when trading foreign exchange is structure on the chart, the market structure, because mm-hmm. all news is gonna do is just make the price go to where it's already gonna go anyways, but a lot quicker. Because mm-hmm. let's say the um, let's say Trump tweets some craziness about like the China stuff, right? People mm-hmm. start the market. Out. The market mm-hmm. will literally explode in mm-hmm. whatever direction that is going, mm-hmm. and people are like, oh my god, what happened to to USD? Da da da. Mm-hmm. But honestly, it was gonna go that way regardless. Mm-hmm. It was going that way in direction. What mm-hmm. happened is they used it up. they used the news to speed up that mm-hmm. process. They used the news to make those big candles, mm-hmm. right? That get everybody mm-hmm. excited to get in or scare people to get out. Mm-hmm. And then they just go about doing what they're doing. They're gonna right. do it anyways, mm-hmm. right? Right? Because mm-hmm. it's for their bottom line, right? But at the same mm-hmm. time, though, to, to, to answer your question, yes, it is. Very important to kind of pay attention to news, but I mean, honestly, you really don't need it. Mm-hmm. Only time you would, I would say, pay attention to it, and there's like there's a website that a lot of traders use called forexfactory.com mm-hmm. that has the 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 high impact news that's going on for that week. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I just pay attention to that because I'm like, yo, this is when the market might be starting to act crazy. Right. I don't really care what they're talking about, what the news is going to come out with, mm-hmm. but let me look at structure mm-hmm. of the market during that time, and then once I see structures going one way, let me hop in there because. Mm-hmm. More than likely, they're gonna shift it that way mm-hmm. and shift it quickly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and a lot of times, too, which is crazy about news is like the news will let's let's say it drives price up, mm-hmm. news will explode price up like mm-hmm. crazy within those like fifteen minutes, mm-hmm. and then next thing you know, it goes right back down to where it was. Mm-hmm. Clear manipulation, mm-hmm. purely manipulation because they're wow. getting people excited, excited, excited about these trades going up, 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 up. Mm-hmm. People are buying in, buying in, buying in, buying in. Mm-hmm. And then when they get all these orders in on that buy, they mm-hmm. dump it. Mm-hmm. And then everybody who's on this buy like here is crying, mm-hmm. um, uh, probably, you know, uh, thinking craziness because like, yo, what the hell happened to all my money? Probably right. A lot of people don't use risk management, so their accounts are blown at this point. They're mm-hmm. discouraged. All kinds true, of craziness. True. And the next thing you know, it's right back to where it started at. <laughs> and people are like, oh, damn. Should have just mm-hmm. stayed in. Should have just stayed in. And or that's I should never like, or, or I should have traded the opposite, not mm-hmm. the wave. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Uh, and similar mentality in the market too, like just... You know, being emotional yeah. and reacting to what's mm-hmm. happening instead of actually doing your work, planning uh-huh. and looking at the charts in terms of forex or yeah, or in terms of trading too. But yeah, any kind of trading yeah. you do, bro. Because th- this applies to um, stock trading. It applies to cryptocurrency trading. What's even more manipulative? But all these markets are manipulative, man. All of them. Mm. All of them. You just have to know. You have to know exactly what you're looking for. You have to know what to to. Like identify, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Word. So we appreciate all that information, man. That's a lot. That's a lot it of information, a lot, y'all. So lot, y'all Word. might want to play this on like 0. 0.5 <laughs> on YouTube if you listen. <laughs> point five speed. Have, have, you, have your notepad ready. You know what I mean? Nah, absolutely. Look, this was some. I think this was a good taste of information. Cause yeah. You always gonna be welcome back here. Right. Yeah, man. And um, yeah, that was that was. That was a lot of information. It is, it is a lot, bro. I'm, and I'm excited too because, like, I've that you like we've we've discussed outside the podcast. Like, mm-hmm. I've dabbled a little bit in options and other things, and I'm I'm excited to learn about forex too. Right. Um, and we got some other people in the in the house <laughs> that's excited. We ain't gonna say because when we come up, y'all just gonna see. You feel <laughs> <what> I me? <mean? laughs> Thanks, yo. Exactly. No, exactly. We're actually, um, so you mentioned a, a demo. Yeah. So, so where 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 would I be able to find find this demo? Because I'm 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 
Probably really start a lot of companies will give like a demo account. Oh, so well, well, actually, like, it's 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 one app. It's called MetaTrader Four, mm-hmm. and this is a this is a platform that like everybody, pretty much every broker uses mm-hmm. to to get access to the market, right? Okay. So, so that's within that app, within that app, you can open up a demo account, create mm-hmm. a demo account, and there's mm-hmm. a whole bunch. There's like a myriad of of lists of brokers you can use. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you what brokers to use. The ones that I'm using personally, mm-hmm. so you can kind of get a feel of it, because mm-hmm. it's all live data, anyways, right? Right, right. But um, I yeah, saw so TD Ameritrade. Have had a demo account that you could sign up yeah, before could actually yeah. signing up for they, they call it, I think it's account. paper paper trading or something like mm-hmm. that for TD Ameritrade. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Um, and their charts looked. I mean, I'm no, I'm obviously nowhere near expert, but their charts look pretty. Now nah, people use a lot of um, a lot. I've seen a lot of people use TD Ameritrade as far. I think it's Thinkorswim is their app, their, their mm, platform for trading. Okay, Thinkorswim. Okay. Mm-hmm. Have you heard of Tasty the, Works? The, Tasty Works works okay. as well. I personally use tradingview.com. Okay. It's the most user friendly um uh, tradingview.com. Like, tradingview.com. It's the best place to get like an actual chart up there so you can actually mark up and mm-hmm. look at the market. But when you're actually doing your actual trading, right? Mm-hmm. You're going to be using your phone, that MetaTrader 4 app. Mm-hmm. You're going to be using that on your phone to take those trades that you see on the chart. It's the right. same chart. It's the same chart. Remember, it's live gotcha. data, right? right? So it's, t- it's the same data that you see on the computer and on your phone. Mm. So whatever you see on the screen, you mm. just, all right, well, let me buy yeah. here. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, right, right. Let me sell so, here. You know it's like having two so, monitors. So describe <laughs> yeah, the, the setup. You got like monitors on the screen. <laughs> it's funny. <when laughs> you have some matrix. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's funny. When I was working, because I come from computer science background, I was a business analyst mm. um, at Bank of New York. And uh, I had three screens, right? Mm-hmm. Now, you would think I would have, like, my actual work. Right. And mm-hmm. please, boss, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. But <laughs> mm-hmm. I promise you, <laughs> chart here, chart here, mm-hmm. my actual work <laughs> right here, and I'm trading. Mm-hmm. Or I'm mm-hmm. watching the charts at that point. I might have, like, maybe the currency strength on this screen and then mm-hmm. the actual chart on this screen. Wherever mm-hmm. my boss was in that was where the chart was at. Yeah. I didn't want her to see that I'm, I'm like actively angle, looking angle at that this. monitor. You right. feel me? Right, right. So I have my, my charts up here and then I'm just looking at charts, analyzing it, marking it up, trying mm-hmm. to see if I could see a setup for myself to take it. I did mm-hmm. a lot of this when I was demoing, right? Mm-hmm. When I was first starting, I just was at work Mm. Okay, let me do that real quick and then I'm in it. And you said the demo accounts are live data. Live data. Oh, right. Just fake money. That's super dope. That's exactly. That's why That's you're able amazing. to, li- like, you could practice live. You could yeah. practice like any other professional trader, Absolutely. but it's just fake money and you just learn, right. grow, and grow, and grow. You That's know? dope. Because a nigga just naturally attracted to video games. They're yeah. Like, <laughs> that shit like a video game. Movie, Man. Like. Might as well. And the thing is, too, is it don't take long to trade, but people always ask me, yo, Curve, um, how long do you trade for? Bro, like 15 minutes. Like you just do like 15 like, minutes a day? Like literally, it, it might take an hour to like analyze, mm-hmm. but to get into a trade, maybe 15 minutes, wait for the setup to come through, hit execute, and then I'm chilling, playing video games. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Playing video games, smoking or some shit, just, mm-hmm. just relaxing. Mm-hmm. I'm in a trade right now as we speak on oil and gold, and mm-hmm. we're in con- we're conversating, conversing? <laughs> uh, conversate is a word now, so you so good. Talk, <laughs> Michael <laughs> Jordan. <yeah. laughs> My, according I, I mean, to we're, I, I think the. The PC is uh, conversing. Right? It is converse, but we it's said we actually talked about this a couple of podcasts yeah. you did? ago. It's been added to the dictionary. It has? Conversate. Well, I'm conversating so, right now. Right? It's hey, disgusting. We're, we're conversating. Oh, it's man. You're, you're, you're making me itch so much right now. You don't even hey, know. It's killing me. You know, the way converse. I feel, if, if, if Shakespeare could make up words, so can we. You yeah. Know? Facts. I like that. So we're going to give Michael Jordan... All that. (laughs) I'm just going to chalk it up to to Mm -hmm. black people as a whole. I'm pretty sure he heard conversate from somebody. He probably heard conversate from like an old country farmer in North Mm -hmm. Carolina. (laughs) That was some smooth shit. A white white man. He's going to do what they came to do. Ain't that right, boo? True. (laughs) True. (laughs) What it do, baby? (laughs) Baby. Yeah, uh, oh man, I think I think that's a good one to wrap it on up on. Wow! Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think that was a good note to wrap it up on. What y'all thinking? Oh, yeah, okay, that, man. That sounds about. Unless y'all have any more questions, bro? I mean, I can always come back again whenever. Definitely, You're welcome no. anytime. Definitely, we, we're definitely gonna have you back on. Man. So. Anything? I feel like you don't need to plug anything. I feel like you. you I mean, be, I, I'm not you're really good at this, man. I, 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 <laughs> you just kind of went off. <laughs> oh, I, I, I mean, a lot of people will tell you, like, especially people like in my trading group, man. When I start talking about foreign exchange, bro, I really, 
Just be <laughs> you go nuts. Just go nuts, it. bro. Because yeah, there's so much shit that I learned, man. Word. There's so much crazy stuff that I've like been exposed to. The people I've met, the things I've experienced, just trading. It's like, mm. damn, man. Why doesn't everybody know this? Word. How come I didn't know this when I was like 22 so at FIU, know. bro? Like, why? Word. So why? When, you, when you're trading, shout like, out FIU game. What, what a FIU game. Word. I love, I love that. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying. So, um, what what are some specific things you look for? Like in a trade, like when you're when you're looking at certain boy, things. we'll be here for another hour. Oh, I'm tell you that. <laughs> right, so to, it's, to, it's, that's why I'm it, laughing. I'm like, about you about to open up. Say, I'm about to say you open the panel, and I trust me, I could go on, no problem. We for can talk hour. about this off the air, but right. I, yeah, we can. I don't mind. I mean, I see well, we got I'm some here. things here. You know what I'm you saying? Just hey. to, to, to zone out to, yeah, but exactly. Um, just to put, I guess, to make a long story short, what I look for is structure. Okay. At the end of the day, that's what's that's what's important. Mm. Structure. If you have, or if you're able to identify structure in the market, golden. Mm. And let me tell you something too. Uh, a lot of the material that's out there for trading, and they're all out there. Be careful with because even though it's true, like the stuff that they're explaining about, like for just to give us some keywords out there: support, resistance, mm. trend line. These things are all true, but the way that they're teaching it. You got to think, man, it's manipulative. The mm-hmm. banks know this information is out there. Mm-hmm. So the bank will manipulate these areas. These mm-hmm. things that everybody mm-hmm. learned, mm-hmm. the herd is learning, mm-hmm. they will use that mm-hmm. to manipulate and trap. Mm-hmm. Okay? And that's what you have to keep in mind. So the information is out there, but take it with a grain of salt. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay? AKA get you to make a decision, an emotional decision off of some information you just found out and you were just manipulated. manipulated. <laughs> big, big time. Mm. Big, big time. Mm. Word. So you definitely have to go into this super logical. Even super keto. logical. Yeah, you have yeah. to. You have to. Because if you don't, if you don't take it logically, if you don't take it in a technical um, uh, standpoint, and just trade off of fundamentals or what you see, you mm. will get burned. You might. Don't get me wrong. You will win because people just win off of the stuff I just told you. Mm. But when they lose, they're like, "Damn, what happened?" Some people get. Well, lucky. you know what happened. Mm-hmm. You won against structure. That's mm. what happened. The mm-hmm. structure rules. That's true. Someone could get lucky one time and then. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, I know. I know people. <laughs> but I know people who made like 15k on a trade, but then the next very next trade or two trades later, mm. wipe their account. Mm. It's, cr- it's, it's craziness. I cash out right there. <laughs> to call it a day. You, you would think that, but <laughs> take a break. It goes to the emotions. <laughs> people are euphoric when they mm. made 15k. Yeah. They're mm. happy. They're like, it's like, damn, man, I really made it big. So mm. let me go in heavy again. Mm. Maybe I might strike again. But this is not a gamble, right? Nah, right. This is not a guess. Really These know. are educated guesses or right. educated decisions. So. Mm. I, I, I go in with like one k, right? Mm-hmm. I get lucky, make fifteen k. Mm-hmm. What my course of action? Pull and go back De- to one k. Definitely just, not. Like, keep or definitely or, or not. Keep. All right. What you want to do is take about ten percent. If you mm. want to take twenty, you know, you don't want to take pretty much. You want to take your whole money out. Mm-hmm. I would take out just ten percent. Right. Because you know what I'm saying. I have a thousand in my pocket. I'm chilling. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. I can right. pay my bills. I can right. pay my right. So, so you so you, know you, you do allow yourself to level up. You got. You have the the, the game is compounding. Right. Just like how the banks compound your interest when you mm-hmm. owe a loan, you need right. to compound your account. Right, right. right and right. while you compound your account, you keep on. That's when the growing. gains get bigger. That's mm-hmm. when the gains get bigger. That's when you're yeah, able to risk more. You have more. to keep contributing right. to it. Right. Ah, Absolutely. Exactly. Absolutely. Because you have you're, now you're investing more, you have more to invest with. And think or, about or it too. Money off of. mm. Think well, going back to risk management. If you have a thousand dollar account and you're risking two percent, remember that's twenty dollars, mm. right? However, you got a ten thousand dollar account. What's mm-hmm. your risk now? Two hundred dollars. Yeah, Meaning right. your position is bigger. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Get a hundred thousand dollar account. That's only two thousand you're risking. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. And that's by compounding. Right, right. Going back to your risk management. Mm-hmm. And trust me, if you are able to manage your risk, a thousand dollars could turn to a hundred thousand dollars real quick. Right. Real quick if you're smart. Right. Few trades. Right. Few good quality trades, bro. Mm. I, that thousand will by, get to a hundred k mm. real quick. By how many times you're saying it, I'm guessing it's not as easy as it. Oh, sounds. definitely not. No. Mm-hmm. Please don't get me wrong. It's, it's not easy. <laughs> that was the case. No, we all not, be on it. Exactly. Already. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. <laughs> to more specifically, manage risk. Manage risk. Right. It's not easy, man. I'm telling mm. you, it's, it's an emotional game, bro. Like mm. you're gonna have those times, like man. Fuck it, I'm putting in fifty dollars when I really yeah. should be putting five, like five dollars. Because you're acting like you're at the casino, right? <laughs> right. Acting act like the casino. Sometimes, I mean, don't get me wrong. You could. Nah, I don't so, want to preach that. So <laughs> I was about to ask a question. Being at the point where you are, where you have some experience, do you have those instances where you break the rules, knowing like you see something different, and you you might go against what you mm, know? What I mean? Yes and no, but. 
You would now know. I'm at the level right now where I'm taking even more educated guess because I'm trading with the banks. I'm trading how the banks are trading. Mm. So my my positions are like like let's say if it's gonna sell, I'm at the very top of that sell mm. most of the time. Mm. You know what I'm saying so my risk on that sell is very small. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It might be really like only ten like a ten pips, which is like about five percent of my account, maybe two percent of my account. Mm-hmm. But I'm really gaining like. Probably hundred percent if if I'm able to catch it on a good on a good spot, you know what I'm saying. Mm. So if I'm losing two hundred dollars to end up making a thousand dollars, I'll take that any day. Right, you know right. I'm so that's kind of where I'm at right now. Mm. Um, knowing no, knowing that I'm able to manage my risk, I am right now. Mm. I am comfortable to go a little bit heavier because mm-hmm. I understand my risk is still small, mm-hmm. right? Because of my like my stop loss, but. My risk is still small, and then I'm able to make the the, the gains from it because I have a very educated guess that this is gonna go my direction. And right. if I and, and if I am wrong, mm-hmm. eh, I just missed two five percent of my account, and I move on. Right, right. You know, take the L, move on. Take the L, move on, go back in, day. win another day, win another trade. You know exactly. What I'm saying? Exactly. Wow. And with that, man. Whoo. We just got it. Yo, yeah, these do rags. Hold on. I'm out. We're gonna have to put on these stinking <laughs> do rags, <laughs> man. Do rag of knowledge, you don't choose it, it chooses Word. you. Can, can, I, can I say I love episodes like this, man? <laughs> we just got to put, that, put the people on something. Yeah, nah, we can, really, we really about to do this, though. So, some happening. cool shit. Oh, yeah. pre tie. Do I have my do rag on back? No, this, this not, this not can't, can't be undone if I try. <laughs> you, I don't even like my shit pre tie. <laughs> this shit is formed to my head like for, a fucking glove. For so, those who do not know, this is a... Do rag or in France, I feel like, do rag. I feel like we just did a black ass um, ritual. <laughs> yeah, basically. We are yeah. now we are we are now blood brothers. Right. <laughs> the mm. do rag of knowledge <laughs> has been bestowed upon thine Word. head. We done sold our souls to Wakanda. <laughs> <laughs> I don't sell my soul to shit. Mm. Hell yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't condone selling of the soul. Exactly. Right? Hell no. I don't know that. Niggas. And Wakanda is all about witchcraft, <laughs> but you said brothers and sisters. <laughs> but wait, but wait, wait, no, these ain't the tinfoil hats. These are do-rags. This is real knowledge, not word, fake knowledge. So, with that, <laughs> yo, yo, you got the crazy gap. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, the, oh, oh, shit. You're right. You're right. I got the... You're right. 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 Hey, you're my dog. Good. Yeah, you can't have my dog uh, in the do-rag looking crazy. Uh, and with that, we about to uh, extraduce ourselves yeah, man. with the do-rag of knowledge. <laughs> This is Flocka Zulu, aka Nigga Dima, aka oh, Sir this, Black. This Black AKA's, Black. boy. AKA Pablo Escovich, aka Gary Indiana Jones. AKA, AKA John the Baptist. Look at that do rag, bro. What is this? I don't even look, I probably look crazy. Yo, my dog said, AKA Moses with the Ten Commandments. <laughs> what a staff at. No, you, you look like you've been, um, like, Introducing niggas to Islam in prison for like Get them. <laughs> like, what's happening, my brother? <laughs> Did you know <laughs> that you have the power within your spirit? <laughs> you know Allah loves you. You've been through like, this man, place for a reason. Naked, my brother. Let me put my kufi on. <laughs> You know, I'll be, I'll be out in five. We, but really, anyway. we really just went on a wild ass tangent. I, I guess <laughs> these rags. these guys. Word. But that's what happens when the do rag knowledge comes on. Just it's the knowledge of your ancestors. All of their do rags combined. <laughs> <laughs> Let me stop. Yo, my bad. Continue, man. Let me stop with the foolishness, man. Oh <laughs> man. It's yeah, your boy Icing Black, a a.k.a. Way Bixby, a.k.a. Shabby Ranks, a.k.a. Samurai Black. What time? What time? Got it, man. Uh, Oh man, aka Durag Jones, aka Swiss Army nigga, Swiss Army nigga, Swiss Army nigga, Swiss Army nigga, light up that split. Hold the no, you forgot to hold the no. Hold the last no, my bad. Boy, we still holding the last no. <laughs> I roll out the AKs, though. I know you got to talk uh, about now. It's your boy Curve, a.k.a. KC, a.k.a. K, a.k.a. Hey. That Man, a.k.a. Mr. Pips, a.k.a. <laughs> get You Some, a.k.a. <laughs> hey, that's what they call them on the court. Don't ask why. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're trying to go ball. A.k.a. Don't Ask Why, a.k.a. Talk To My Agent, a.k.a. Uh, <laughs> let's Get It. Okay. Hey. Wow. And there it is. We appreciate it. We appreciate the knowledge that you have bestowed upon oh. our black do rags. Follow, follow me as well. K Cadet 3, all platforms. Wow. Okay. That's Cadet. that plug you was looking for. Yeah. <laughs> that's that plug. That's it, that's it right there. Whoa. All platforms. And we out here. 
boom. Love eating chicken grease. Peace. Peace. Oh, forget the chicken grease. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>